Hello friends, this is Yogesh Moramkar. In this video, we are going to talk about how to detect live edges uh, through a webcam video. Now, here you can see on the left side, this is my image which you are able to see with, with the help of uh, webcam of my laptop. And on the right side, you will see these are the edges which is detecting uh, for the respective image which is on the left side or respective video which is on the left side. Now, how to do this with the help of Python programming? That's what our target is in this particular video. And then uh, what you can do is we can try to explore all the things. Now, you can you can see if I try to move to the left side, this image, this particular image uh, video is also going to show you uh, the edges from those sides. Right? If I try to move this side, you, you will able to, you will be able to see, right? So, how to detect these edges for any video with the help of OpenCV package and some other packages in Python? That's what our target is. What you can do is you can explore as much as possible because there is no end there is no upper limit to this one and this can be used in number of applications it can be used for detecting objects in a video and uh, it can be used for security and surveillance so number of them number of applications are there so how am i able to see this particular video and how am i able to detect this particular edges for this particular video with the help of python that's what we want to see here okay so to start with this let me close this one let me click on this one and close it. So now you can see this is the code which I have written for that particular uh, output. You can see <clears throat> to start with this one, I have imported all the packages. For example, I imported the package matplotlib which is for visualization. So I am trying to use one method that is called as image out of that one. Right? So I have imported it as M mp image, right? matplotlib image. Then we are using matplotlib for plotting also. So we have imported a method called as pyplot. As PLT and then we are using numpy for arrays so and one more thing the important package is this one that is called as cv2 that is open cv which is used for videos so we imported i already installed this packages with the help of pip install command and imported it with the help of import command now the first function if you see i am trying to define a function called as cartoon so cartoon function is having this particular attribute image underscore color so how we get image underscore color that we will see later on so first of all what it does is output underscore image it is going to get this particular variable and cv2 dot stylization so stylization is actually a method which is available using this what we are doing is whatever is there in image underscore color that color image it is going to convert uh, and it is going, going to show you with some parameters as sigma underscore s and sigma underscore r you can try i will i am trying uh, uh, what i will do is i will try to provide the whole code uh, in the description, you can try it, you know, uh, try it on your machine. And if you face any difficulty, you can always free, feel free to ask or you can suggest. So what it is actually doing is it is going to take that image underscore color as an argument, and it is going to uh, pass this to this particular method stylization. So it is just going to give it a style actually. So how it does actually that we will see. First of all, we will see from where we got this particular image, image underscore color. So finally, it is going to return that image uh, output underscore image. So if I want to see <clears throat> what actually this cartoon function does, so let, let's go from where we actually getting this particular image, image underscore color variable. Okay. So if you can see here, uh, I have defined some uh, some more functions. For example, this, this particular function define live cam edge detection underscore canny. So here also we are passing image underscore color right so i define i am defining two variables threshold one and threshold two with some values 30 and 80 so image underscore gray so this is the variable where you will get get a gray image for this color image okay so again from cv2 package we are using cv2 color convert color so convert a color image into the gray image or black and white image right so uh, you can see here blue green and red to gray so this is a parameter we are actually using to convert a color image into gray image or we can say black and white image the image which you have which you are able to see on the right side right so and canny canny is one variable which you are using actually and we are passing uh, so here canny is a method and this canny is a variable so we are passing that gray image and these two variables to the canny so whatever the effects you will be able to see those will be in between these particular variables these are the threshold limits right now this is the main function actually for 
uh, initializing webcam and applying edge detection so this is what we are actually using video capture if you want to see what it does just press shift tab and you, you can see here uh, okay they have not given you all the details but if i want to see other other functions for example what it does so if you can press shift enter and you can see what it does so uh, this particular function cv to color cv to color uh, cv to color converts it converts an input image from one color space to another right so you can see here we have used it to color color image into gray okay so this is what the main function is actually in our case so as i told you it is used to initialize webcam and apply edge detection so because of video capture it's possible now the logic is what we are doing is there is a variable called as return and there is another variable called as frame so in this frame that video will be there right and this return is going to return whether it's success or failure right then cv2 dot image so uh, cv dot i am show it is going to show you that particular frame video frame and we are going to apply this live cam edge detection cam to this particular frame so we have defined this particular function here at the start only you can see right after that cv2 dot i am show webcam video right and it is going to that take that particular frame whatever the frame we have with the help of that particular uh, this particular method read so it is going to get that particular video and it is going to store into frame so that we are actually passing to i am show so it is it is going to show you as an image right and after that if we press uh, wait key is equal to is equal to 13 that means this 13 is actually a uh, ascii value for enter button right and once we press enter button it is going to release everything cap dot release and it is going to destroy all the windows okay now let's see uh, what is that particular image underscore color so this image underscore color what whatever the argument we are passing to this particular function cartoon function then to this particular function that is live edge detection so all these things actually we are getting from this this one video capture so this video capture is nothing but what if i try to run it once again so that video is nothing but this one so this is the color image so this is the image i was talking about which is actually passed as an input to that particular method okay so what you can do is you can try try out this particular code on your machine and then try to explore it will be easy for you to get each and everything if you have any suggestion or uh, any doubt you you please uh, feel free to ask all of them so as i told you there is no upper limit to this one you can explore as much as possible and try to make some changes and try to use this kind of application in uh, in maybe in your project or any other application you can make use of this one right so it's a very simple one you can go and you can read and you can try to explore this one right so thank you very much i am going to provide this particular code in the description you can try it anytime okay so thanks again thanks a lot